On August 15, several K-pop idols came under fire for their social media activities on Gwangbok-jeol, Korea's National Liberation Day. This day marks the liberation of Korea from Japanese colonial rule in 1945 and is a deeply significant event in Korean history. As a result, many Koreans are sensitive to Japan-related content being shared on this day. However, some idols faced backlash for doing just that, leading to public apologies and widespread discussion. Stray Kids Felix was among the first to face criticism after participating in a Japanese anime challenge on August 15. He sent a voice message through the fan community app Bubble, where he mentioned the Shikanoko challenge, which is related to a Japanese anime. The timing of this post on Korea's Liberation Day sparked outrage among Korean netizens, who found it highly inappropriate given the day's historical significance. <laughs> In response to the backlash, Felix issued an official apology, expressing regret for his actions. Felix also acknowledged his lack of knowledge about history and promised to be more careful in the future. TXT's Yeonjin also found himself under scrutiny after posting photos from a recent trip to Japan on his personal Instagram account. Although the photos were quickly deleted, they were posted on a day when many Koreans refrained from sharing Japan-related content. Yeonjin swiftly addressed the issue, apologizing through his Instagram stories and weavers. He admitted his carelessness and promised to reflect on his actions. Wei's Junseo also faced backlash for replying in Japanese to questions on Weavers. One of the questions asked if there was something he wanted to do in Japan next month, to which Junseo responded in Japanese, expressing his desire to eat Japanese foods like manjayaki and yakisoba. He also replied in Japanese to another question about speaking casually at an in-person fan meeting. NCT's Yemen became another idol under fire after sharing a photo with a Japanese caption on August 15th. The pug, which simply said I've arrived, was seen as poorly timed given the group's arrival in Japan on Korea's Liberation Day. The Japanese caption, coupled with the timing of the post, drew criticism from netizens who found it disrespectful. While these idols likely did not intend to cause harm, their actions have sparked discussions about the importance of historical awareness, particularly among public figures with large followings.